Hey! As you're watching this, I am actually at a festival in Budapest in Hungary called Zijet. I think that's how it's pronounced anyway. It might be like Zijet or Zyget or Zijeti. I don't know. I don't know how it's pronounced, but I think I'll probably find out once I get there. So in the first half of this video, I'm going to be showing you my top 20 essential festival items. And the second part of this video is going to be a try-on haul where I show you all of the outfits that I've bought ready for this festival. So my first festival essential is hand sanitizer. This one is from Primark and it was a pound and you can't really go to a festival without having hand sanitizer. If you go to the toilets, like the port loos um, they normally do have a little hand sanitizer dispenser in there, but nine times out of ten, they've all run out. So it's always good to keep one on you, and you're going to want to use it before you eat, or after you eat, or just any time you feel like you need a bit of a hand refreshment, it's always good to use a hand sanitizer. This one is Citrus Ice. Haven't actually smelt it yet. Uh, it just kind of smells like normal hand sanitizer. If you want a really nice smelling one, I recommend the Soap and Glory Hand Food Hand Sanitizer. That one smells incredible, but it's a bit more expensive. My second essential are wipes, and a lot of them. Obviously when you're at a festival you can't really have a shower. If there are showers available, there's normally a lot of queues. Most people don't shower when they're at a festival, so it's always handy to have a lot of wipes on hand so that you can give yourself a little refresh every day so that you are a little bit fresher than you would have been if you hadn't have used them. Obviously it's not ideal if everyone had a little mini shower next to their tent, that would be great, but um, that's not a thing, so wipes are the next best thing. A really, really important essential to take is a portable phone charger. This one was from eBay and it was around £22 and it's 16,000 mAh which um, on the description it said has um, the ability to charge an iPhone 6 plus 5 times. So um, this is a pretty powerful one. You can get smaller ones, but I really wanted one that would give me as many charges as possible because you can get your phone charged at festivals, but obviously you have to pay and you have to wait for it to charge. This one is quite heavy for a portable phone charger, but the lighter ones tend to be not as powerful. So it's kind of a compromise whether you want more charge or if you want it to be a bit heavier and I wanted more charge. This one is called Me, I think, M-I, um, but I'll put a link to it in the description box below if anyone is interested. Um, they also come in different sizes, so I think this is the biggest one, but they have two more that are cheaper and smaller, so yeah, this is really important. The next thing a lot of people tend to forget when they go to festivals, and that is a mirror. Obviously you still want to get ready in the mornings, you still want to check what you look like, funnily enough, it's a mirror, that's what they're for. I really like this one because it's flat, so you can pack it nicely, but it's also got a stand on it so you can prop it up and you know have both hands to do your makeup with so yes really really important to take a mirror with you obviously you're going to want to make memories and document your time at the festival so it's always good to take cameras with you i tend to take disposable cameras with me um, at festivals just because i don't want my phone battery to run out any more than it has to so if I'm using the camera on my phone a lot, that's going to drain the battery loads. So I always take disposables and I also prefer the look that disposable pictures give. I'm also taking my GoPro with me so that I can make a video of my experiences after to keep forever. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this. Sun cream is another really important thing to take with you. It's kind of easy to forget how hot it can get at festivals. It's one of those things that you come home and you've got like all these tan lines and you're like, oh my god, when was it even sunny? I really like this brand of sun creams. I can't say the name of it to save my life. Um, but yeah, I really like these ones because they protect you from the sun, but they also don't stop you from getting a tan. This is a tan intensifier, um, but it's also got SPF 15 in it. I don't need that high of a SPF because um, I don't burn very easily, but if I did, I would go for a higher one. So it still depends on what your skin is like. Paracetamol and ibuprofen. These are really good in case you're not feeling too great, you might have a headache or you might be hungover. So these are always good to have just in case. I always take painkillers with me just in case I need one or someone else needs one. And they're like 30p from Tesco. So, you know, you can't really go wrong and it's always better to be safe than sorry. Earplugs, these things will be your new best friend. It's gonna be really loud throughout the campsite all through the night probably. So if you do wanna get a good night's sleep and you don't wanna be waking up by drunken people walking past your tent at four in the morning, then I would suggest taking earplugs. Toilet roll, for obvious reasons, because 
again the portaloos might run out of this stuff so it's always a good idea to take your own and also if you want to like have a little bit of cleanup in the tent or if there's a spillage or something it's always good to have it on standby you will probably be using this loads if you take it with you trust me the next essential is a little camp light that you can put in your tent this one is a really small one so it's not that bright but to be honest if it's just a tent for one or two you aren't going to need that much this one you can hang up and you can also stand it up as well so this one's really handy i've also got this light which is another led light and it's got a few settings on it you can just either have it on like that or i think it flashes as well does it yeah there you go um i'm not sure why it flashes don't know why you would want that maybe if you're having a disco in the tent or something um but yeah this is really handy and it's got a hook on it as well uh, which turns so this is a really good essential to keep on your list and finally I'm gonna take some little fairy lights and I know you're probably thinking oh, what the hell why would you take fairy lights you're gonna be in a tent but I like to make things look cozy and nice no matter where I am I always try and make it look a bit more like home so these ones are battery powered so you don't have to worry about plugging it in and if you take spare batteries, you don't have to worry about the batteries running out. These ones are from Ikea and they were really, really cheap. I can't remember how much, but you know, it's Ikea, so it's going to be cheap. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be taking these with me this year. Probably one of the most important essentials is dry shampoo. Here I've got one for medium and brunette hair. And if you do have darker hair, I really recommend these ones over the... Uh, normal range which are white because you know how annoying it is when you're trying to get the white powder out of your hair uh, but this one's dark so you know it covers that up really really nicely and I've also got one which I think is new and it's like a volumizing one which is always going to be good at a festival you know to get a bit of extra volume so yeah these are so important to take to a festival I couldn't live without these deodorant pretty self-explanatory really you don't want to smell and you don't want people around you to think that you do smell. So it's always good to take this with you and keep applying it regularly. Obviously, if you're going to a festival and if you're going to one like me where you're flying there rather than taking a car, it's gonna be quite important to take things that are compact and travel friendly. So here I've got two inflatable pillows. One of them is that kind where you rest it on your shoulders and it kind of goes in like a loop around your neck. Um, and this one is just a normal kind of inflatable pillow, just the standard square ones. So I've got both, just in case I like one better. These are really, really cheap. I think you can get them from the 99p store. So um, yeah, these are really important to take with you if you're trying to travel light. Obviously at festivals, you're gonna get a whole range of people that you don't know and you don't know what they're like or anything like that. So personally, I like to take all of my valuable stuff and keep it on me at all times. You might be happy with leaving your money or your cameras and stuff in your tent. I wouldn't be, so I like to keep it on me at all times and to do that I take a bum bag. Bum bags are great because it means you can carry all your stuff on you, that's valuable and it's close to you, but you don't have to lug around a really heavy bag at the same time all day as well. I've got a black one which I got from eBay and it's just a, um, oh it actually says genuine leather which is weird because I think it was like five pounds, uh, great. Um, but yeah, this is just a leather black bum bag. It's obviously adjustable as well and it actually fits quite a lot in here. So I'm actually really pleased with this one. I've also got a multicolored kind of tribal stripe print as well, um, just to jazz up my planer outfits a little bit sometimes. And you know, it's always good to have options, even if it is in the form of a bum bag. The next things I'm gonna show you aren't really essential, but they're always fun to take with you to festivals. And that is a hell of a load of accessories. Flash tattoos are really on trend at the moment. You can get them pretty much everywhere. Um, Topshop, New Look, mine are from eBay. Um, and they were a lot cheaper than they are in the shops, so I do recommend getting them from there. They do have a downfall though, if you wear them in the sun, they do leave tan lines on your skin, so just be aware of that. I learned that the hard way, I wore mine in the sun uh, last weekend. I don't know if you can see this around here, but I've got loads of little triangles around my arm. I've also got a little paisley headscarf that I'm going to be wearing in case my hair drives me insane, which I know that it will. I also like to wear a lot of jewellery at festivals. I don't really wear a lot of jewellery in everyday life, but at festivals I tend to wear a lot more than I normally do. Um, I've got this really nice necklace from Primark, which has got loads of different necklaces kind of all in one, I guess. And I've also got this one, which is loads of little spikes 
on a gold chain so yeah i really like those i've also got a hair feather and i've seen a lot of people wear these at festivals and i think they look amazing so i got one for myself i don't actually know how it goes in your hair yet but there are instructions on the back so i'll probably do it once i'm there and have a lot of difficulty doing it in the process um but i think they look really cool so i think it'll be worth it i've also got some multicolored sticky gems as well um because what's a festival without having sticky gems all over your face it's just not fun if you don't and i've also got this chubby glitter stick in stage silver and i really like this one because it gives that really nice like sheen glitter effect rather than like i've just stuck glitter all over my face it kind of acts a bit like a highlighter um obviously it's way more glittery uh but i'll try and show you what it looks like on my hand so it's more like sheen and like i don't know how to explain it but i really like the effect this gives it also smells really good and the final essential accessory that I'm going to be taking is a hat. Apart from being a fabulous fashion statement, um, it also protects your shoulders from the sun, which I always get burned on my shoulders. I get burned on my shoulders and burn under my eyes and nowhere else. It's really weird. Um, so yeah, I like to take a hat just to protect the tops of my shoulders and that way I don't have to worry about getting burnt. And it also looks pretty cool. Even though the festival that I'm going to is forecast really hot, it's always a good idea to take a jumper or hoodie with you, just in case it gets cold at night or there's one cold day, or if you just get a bit chilly in the morning or something, it's always good to throw on a jumper. This one's really thick and oversized, so it'll be perfect for the festival that I'm going to. I'll probably wear it to bed if it's cold. Um, but obviously, if you're going to a festival in England or if you're going to a festival where the weather isn't forecast as good, you're probably gonna to wanna to take like a raincoat with you and loads of jumpers because it'll probably be freezing cold. It's also probably a good idea to take a Swiss army knife. This one has got um, a knife on it, scissors, a corkscrew and a bottle opener on it, among other things. Um, so it's always good to take this because it's really compact and in case you need any of those things, it's all in one place and you know where to get it from. So this is really handy. At festivals you're never going to really know what the terrain is going to be like until you get there you never know if it's going to be dry muddy puddles full of grass you don't really have any idea until you get there so it's always good to take appropriate footwear and i think jelly shoes are a really good option they're obviously waterproof and if you don't want to lug around wellies in your suitcase or if it's too hot for wellies these are a really good option because you're not going to get them ruined they're plastic and they're really comfortable and easy to get on and off so yeah i'm gonna be taking my jelly shoes with me this year another simple thing that people always forget at festivals is a towel just because you might not be having a shower doesn't mean that a towel isn't a good idea you can always just wet the end of it and then like you know have a little mini shower or if you have a spill in the tent and you need to get it fast towels there for you or even if you want to have something extra to lie on if you're if the ground's too hard in your tent and you want a bit of extra mattress, this <laughs> could be the answer. It's also gonna be a really good idea to take chewing gum or mouthwash with you. Obviously take your toothbrush too, you can still do your teeth if you're at a festival, um, but just throughout the day, and in case of absolute emergencies, it's always good to have these on standby. So that was my top 20 essential items for festivals, and now I'm gonna move on to the haul. So the first thing I've got are these high-waisted shorts from Topshop. These ones are the mom shorts, and they're the ones with the holes in them at the bottom. You can also get them without, uh, but I wanted to get the ones with. I think these will look really good with pretty much any of the tops that I've got as well. So yeah, I do really like those. Those were 28 pounds. The next thing I've got is also from Topshop and it's this white lace up top with uh, no sleeves and it's also cropped as well. And that was 12 pounds. And I've also got the exact same one, but in like a burnt orangey red color. Um, you'll also notice throughout this haul that I've got loads of lace up and suede items. So yeah really getting into that whole 70s thing the next thing i have is also from topshop and i've had it for a while um but i've only worn it once and i will be wearing it at this festival i think and it's this um really cool crop top i love the pattern on this i've always loved this pattern i don't really know how to describe it it's kind of like crochet but it's a bit thinner and it's all these different colors but um i just love this so yeah this was i think it was 12 pounds it might have been a bit more I've also got this crop top from New Look and it's got this amazing print on the front. Again, don't really know how to describe the print, um, but it looks cool and it's all these like neon colors. I normally hate neon, 
um, but this is quite subtle so I don't mind as much but yeah this will look really nice with some high-waisted shorts and a kimono I think. I've got another crop top from Boohoo and this one's got a similar print on the front uh, but it's in black and white so this one is a lot more wearable if you're worried about you know colours clashing and stuff like that um, this one's monochrome so you won't have that problem. It's got a tie halter neck and the only problem with this one is that it's got a very small back that's literally the back of it. So if you do have bigger boobies, you will know that uh, backless bras and strapless bras don't always work in their favor. So um, just be aware of that if you are looking at buying this top. But other than that, I do really like it. I've also got this Ramones top, which I got from eBay, and it's actually a men's top. It's just a normal standard t-shirt. Um, but what I'm gonna do is cut off the sleeves so that it's like a tank top. And I'm going to layer it up with some jewellery and wear it with my black high-waisted shorts. I think it will look quite nice and grungy and edgy. So, yeah, that's the vibe I'm going for with this. I just need to get my scissors out and get chopping on these sleeves. I've also got these super cool flared trousers. They're so long, which is amazing for me because I can never normally find trousers that are long enough for my legs. But they've got this incredible massive flare at the bottom. I love flares. I know they're not for everybody, but I really love them, especially with this whole 70s vibe that the summer's got going on. Um, so I do really love these trousers. Uh, they're from New Look. Um, I can't remember how much they were, but I'm pretty sure they went in the sale. So if you find them, you'll be really, really lucky. These are so comfortable as well. Like, I would wear these to bed as pyjamas. They're amazing. I love them. Again from New Look, I've got this crop top, which has a really 70s inspired print on it, which I love. And it's not too cropped either. It's kind of like that nice... Um, amount of cropped that's kind of in between really short and a normal t-shirt length which I much prefer because I'm not that comfortable going out in like a crop crop top so yeah this is like the perfect size crop top for me and it's got buttons down the front and I really like the print on it it's kind of like vintage so keeping with the whole kind of lace up thing that I'm into at the moment um, I got this black top from boohoo.com. Actually, it's not really lace up. It's more of like a lattice effect, I guess, because it doesn't actually have the lace up strings on it. Um, but it gives a really similar effect anyway. So um, yeah, I really do like this though, because it's not as cropped as the other two and it's not as fitted. It's more loose and flowy. The next thing I got I absolutely love and it's this amazing suede skirt from instyle.co.uk. I freaking love this. It feels so soft and I love the colour. I'm really into like camel and tan colours this summer and I think I'm going to be into them for autumn as well. It's got little pockets on the side as well which you know might come in handy and if I wore this with my white lace-up crop top from Topshop I think that would look really nice as well so I'm so excited to wear this and it's not just a festival skirt either you could wear it you know to dinner with a nice black top or like a blouse or something so yeah love this it's probably one of my favorite purchases of the summer and another suede thing that I have is this top from New Look I have worn this a few times I wore it in my trying Japanese candy video and loads of you asked me where I got it from and it's from New Look I really really love this it's so soft again and it's got a really nice like scalloped hem so yeah love this could i wear those last two items together as a two-piece what do you guys reckon they're pretty much the same kind of color this one might be a little bit darker i might be able to get away with it i'll let you all know i'll experiment and let you all know the next thing i have is one of my favorites and it's this play suit from topshop again it's got the lace-up um detailing in the middle but this one goes all the way down it really plunges right down to um, the waist. It's got these incredible flared sleeves and again obviously I'm really into flares at the moment. I normally can't wear play suits because they always come up way too short on me um, but this one for some reason doesn't so it's not the tall range or anything it is just their normal range so I'm really impressed with that. That's like a rare find for me. Again though this isn't just for the festival I will obviously be wearing this all the time. It can be worn for so many different occasions. So I'm excited about that. And the final piece of clothing that I have is probably my favourite out of everything. And it's this absolutely gorgeous play suit from InTheStyle.co.uk. It's all attached at the back like a normal play suit. But at the front, it's got this um, cut out here. And then it's got a tie-up front. 
and oh, I just love it. I'm so obsessed with it. I saw Lydia from Lucy and Lydia wearing it at Wireless Festival and she looked amazing in it. So I was like, I've got to have that. And I'm so glad that I did get it because I freaking love it. I think it might be my favourite thing I've bought all summer. I also picked up some shoes and these ones are the first ones that I got. These are from eBay and I think they're about £5. But I really wanted some really simple black sandals that would go with pretty much any outfit and I think these are perfect. These are pretty much all plastic as well. I think even this bit is plastic. So these will also be really good if it's muddy or something. The next pair of shoes I got are a lot less practical. Um, but they're so amazing. I couldn't not get them. I completely fell in love with them the second I saw them and they're these. These are from Topshop and they're like suede sandals. They've got a tiny little heel which I love because it makes them more formal. Like you could wear these out to a meal or something if you wanted to. But it, they're not as high so obviously I prefer not to wear a high heel. I really love the fringe detailing on the front as well. I just love how they're like the perfect in between for like casual and smart but also like stylish. They're just perfect. I think these are my new favourite shoes. I could wear these with my suede skirt and my suede top and be like the ultimate suede monster. I'm so into that. And finally I've got these bad boys and they look a complete mess when I do that. Uh, but they're those gladiator shoes that go all the way up your leg to the knee. And I love these, they look really good on. I just think these will go with so many different outfits and just make it look a little bit more like fashionable. These were also from eBay and I think they were £22 but I really really love them. They've got like a zip along the back as well so you can just put them on and then you can adjust the laces to whatever size your leg is. I just think these will complete so many of my outfits. I think they'll give it that extra touch that makes it look a little bit more fashionable and I love the colour of them as well. I was going to go for black but I decided on brown in the end and I'm really glad that I did because I freaking love these. So that's it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already and you would like to, make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you are aware of whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye! So the first question is, what are you wearing? How inappropriate. I'm currently wearing this grey t-shirt from Brandy Melville. It's just a dark grey, really casual kind of crop t-shirt and it's